Can you please shut up? I don't even know where this thing goes. I'm just using it as a sash. You think they'd make it a little more obvious. You know what I have a lot of? Patience. And duct tape. And points, that was three. I jumped from, the, you didn't even see where I jumped from. Okay, if you guys are gonna talk the entire video, I'm gonna have to separate you. You're gonna have to go over here. I'm gonna make something out of duct tape and you're gonna watch you want. A jump rope? I feel like I've made a couple of those just trying to get a regular piece of duct tape. That's super easy. Let's try it. Cut a 91.5 centimeter long strip of orange duct tape. I know for a fact that my wingspan is five inches shorter than my actual height, and my actual height is five foot six, which means that I still don't understand centimeters. Okay, you stay there. Stay. Lay this down. No. Now what are you doing? Oh, okay. There's gonna be a knot in the middle of my jump rope. Okay, two jump ropes. Boy, I wonder what step two is like. Ow! Fold the bottom edge a fourth of an inch. Thank you. How many centimeters is that? Does it have to be a fourth of an inch the whole way? Because I'm, I'm creating all kinds of fractions over here. Keep folding the bottom edge over the first fold until a cord is formed. I did that step accidentally. Oh, it's a lot easier once you've done one. It's like riding a bike made out of duct tape. We should make a bicycle out of duct tape. I can't even make a jump rope. Get out of here. Done. Step three, repeat steps one through three twice more. So I have to do this two more times? If anything, I'm getting real good at guessing what a fourth of an inch looks like. Don't you. Oh, what am I gonna do with it? It's all, mm. is that a fourth of an inch? See, if I were to write a book about duct tape art, it'd go a little something like this. You want a jump rope? Do this. You already messed up a bunch anyway. This is the best option. Don't you touch her. See, you can't even tell the difference between yours and mine. Except that my sticky side is on the outside. You could still jump rope with this. It's just gonna snag the carpet. If anything, that makes you better. Okay, so it's stuck on the chair. Step three better be jump the rope. Pull up on one of the small tape strips. Pull up like I was told to pull up. This got gangster real quick. Pull up on one of the small tape strips, did that, place it on the cutting mat. Oh, we're going mafia style? Well, torture first, huh? <laughs> oh, connect all three of them. Got it. That it? I can't imagine there's another step other than jump over it. Step five is repeat steps one through four. You want me to do that again? Okay. I read the ending. Most everyone died. They want me to make another one so that it's thicker, but hear me out. He's already a thick, thick boy. That's a jump rope. Honestly, you don't need a rope. I could probably jump rope this better. It's really awesome. I'll keep it forever. Okay, I'm gonna pick one randomly. Knight sword. Ah, so I can pull up. Nice. Step one better not be no fourth of an inch crap. Five centimeters by 61 centimeters. So a square? I have this. That's what the duct tape came in. Only seems appropriate. Isn't it weird that it isn't duct tape holding the duct tape box together? This is gonna have to be how long the sword is because that's the longest piece of cardboard I have. What do? Cut it? Oh, we're already pulling up. How do I cut it? Oh yeah, in centimeters. Okay, this is what I came up with. It's a butcher sword. All right, meat cleaver, ready. Cut one into a point. Say less. Cut a support piece. You mean like a homie? This is the closest thing to your diagram, so. Attach this piece to the blade with glue dots. Why can't we use the duct tape? They just said cover this. Well, duh. This is, I don't, this is cheating. Oh, it's a spatula. That's just covering cardboard with duct tape. That's not making a sword out of duct tape. I'm sorry, what, lamp? Excuse me, I have to go pull up on the lamp. You look stupid in that hat. 